into the backfield. Tasha with them. You're kidding me. That is magnificent. Hong Kong versus Portia Woodman. Exceptional performance by this lady. To Woodman. All the W's are scoring. Portia Woodman gets another for the Black Ferns. They use Woodman, who's changed wings, and now Woodman into the backfield. Portia Woodman, you're kidding me. That is magnificent. First rate try for the first rate athletes. And Portia Woodman shows why she is so special. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you will not see an athlete like this on any Rugby World Cup stage. She is unbelievable, and this is why that beautiful hit at pace, change of angle, two fins, and again a change of direction which wrong footed the fullback. Just unbelievable. And Portia Woodman, whose father was an All Black in the 80s, her uncle was an All Black, so she comes from great bloodline, great stock, and just have a look at her change the ball here on a number of occasions. Ball in the hand, so she fins with the right, then changes to the right to fin with the left. Special. New Zealand is clear the ball, but it's slow, and so the defence now comes up grey. Looks to tackle Nelson. The nurse from Auckland, the 27 year old. Here goes the captain, Farmer Silly, with the help of Itunu. That's Linda Itunu in Jersey 21. Now they rumble again down Main Street. They're going down Broadway. Other New Zealanders. Cox Edge with the wide pass. The Brazier, Woodman gets the hat track. You bet. You can't hold off Portia Woodman or she will burn you and she gets three for the semi-final. But how about the work done by the forwards at the beginning? The ball initially at the ruts was quite slow and then Fatima Seeley came through with some good ball. Look at this, a great pass by Kotsic, but even better from Brazier. Brazier's the one who's been giving the service all day to Woodman. Honestly, who has the skills to pass a ball like that? She knew she was going to get absolutely hammered by Rosie up. But yes, Not Woodman beat fight. about two players to get through. Brings it down and it's a maul. You can hear the call from the referee. The captain for New Zealand has it. They transfer it to the back and it's picked up by Goss. Goss runs into Counter and Zachary. It's recycled. Wycliffe, Brazier. The kick pass, the better option. Winniata! Winniata gets it, pops it up to Woodman. Woodman's in again. Sublime rugby from the woman in black. And Portia Woodman gets a brace. She just ran off the back of that rolling maul. The ball came down perfect for it. Good support there from Zabritsky Nafatali blowing over too. And then there, perfectly weighted. Lovely. Woody after just with that little pop, she knew she wasn't near the try line and that Woodman was on her shoulder and gave it in good body position just to slide over and not get pushed over by that defence. Thank you. Uh, what can you say about one of the greatest athletes on the planet, Portia Woodman? Back through the forwards, Bevan goes in, the pop pass off the ground. This is where they've got into trouble, the Welsh. And Brazier looks and sees there's the opportunity. How's her football skills? Ever, oh, they're better than ever. They're brilliant. To Woodman. All oh, the W's are scoring. Portia Woodman gets another for the Black Ferns. So, ball to nobody. Sabritsky Nafatali was up and so was Brazier. She is a very good kicker, Kelly Brazier. Managed to get the bounce as well. And look at that vision to see Woodman on her outside. She could have finished it herself, arguably, but she gave it to a flying winger who's a perfect finisher. There's a Canadian born number eight. They've lost it, the turnover. Cox Edge gets it, gets it out to Hohepa. She goes four short, nice tackle made from Chong. Copybook tackle from the left winger, but they've given away the penalty. Cox Edge taps, gets it out to the forwards. Here goes Goss. Puts the head down and charges forward again. Out to the left, Nafatali, the kick pass straight across the Woodman. Portia Woodman touches down. And the kick pass from Nafatali was unbelievable. Yeah, very astute. She had four or five backs on the outside of her. I thought they were just going to do hands, but a little thin kick 
Portia knew exactly what was coming. She literally put it into the basket and then just popped it down for a try. She was delighted to get her name on the score sheet so early on. Farmer has it, gets it the Cox edge. There's an advantage. Sabritsky Napatali runs an angle, gives it to Jorge Abu, now gives it to Tubrick. Out to Woodman! Portia Woodman! Too good! Second try for Woodman. Made no mistake on this occasion. More than a little bit. You can see, however, she was just loitering with intent in the back line. She stepped, she stayed deep enough so that they create that second line of attack and then simple hands to Tubic. She is, as mentioned, one of the best in the globe. And what a finisher. Cox Edge now to Matau. And this is better from New Zealand to draw in more defenders and then look to push it wide. Brazier wanted it, but Blackwell is there first. Now the backs want it. It's slow ball though, so Brazier just wants to fire it out to Fitzpatrick. Quick hands along the chain. Tubic gets it to Woodman. Now Woodman beats the first defender and the second. Woodman into the backfield. Possibility of five tries. Yes, it is. Portia Woodman gets her fifth. And she had to do some work on that occasion, but what a finisher. Lovely, lovely try by Portia Woodman. This is the first time we've seen her use her footwork that we've seen so often on the seventh field. To be able to step off that left foot to come back in field and really, really hard to defend against. Two, three defenders that she beaten. Again, chucking that ball. And she has Chung, the formidable Chung that she has to beat to the end. And she just, with her hand off, just nudges her down to score directly under the post for Coxage. As a defender, you're just wondering which way she's going to go. Is there in Jersey 25, Brazier out to Fitzpatrick, throws that dummy. Fitzpatrick looks. Tubic is there, gives it to Woodman to get six. Woodman's getting six. Oh, ha, ha, what a try. Portia Woodman gets 30 points for the day. Six tries. Tubic again. She nearly got it herself. Teresa Fitzpatrick, I think she kept on waiting to try and give the ball. She didn't expect it off her right hand. Tubic nearly got it herself, but it just bounced into Woodman's hands. Portia Woodman, six tries, certainly has put her hand up. Gets the ball towards the halfway, out to Woodman, looking for some work. Try number seven. Shut the gate when Woodman gets the ball. Right underneath the black dot. And Portia Woodman makes it seven for the afternoon. Seven of the best from Portia Woodman. Seven beautiful tries, but well worked and well chased by Hong Kong all the way to the end. They did not want to give her that try easy. Again, just a small, slight little left-hand pass by Chu, but she had Keto on her outside. Keto's eyes just said, go yourselves. You can score this one, girl. Eloise Blackwell does the basics so well, and Matau takes some stopping. Cox Edge gets it, Brazier wants it. Out to Fitzpatrick, Tubic runs the dummy line. Walker is there out to Woodman. Woodman, are you kidding me? Seven might become eight. Seven will become eight. It's a try fest in Dublin. Portia Woodman does the impossible. Oh my dear Lord, what are we witnessing? Hong Kong versus Portia Woodman. Exceptional performance by this lady and her team right there on her shoulder. Well done, girl. It all comes from the 14 men inside you, but you worked damn hard to finish them off.